Hi. Everybody. Coming over. Nope. Hey, look at you jumping down, being all brave and shit. Bad idea. Don't be brave ever. Literally never be brave. It's been a mistake every single time in all of history. Whoop. Oh god. That was a bad lock on moment. Oh shit. Ah. Alright, that's that spooked me. That was concerning. It's not what you want to have happen in those situations. Lock onto some weird dude upstairs and walk off a cliff. That's one way to spend your humanity. Oh, I'm about to be real happy I have pyromancy. I just remembered the enemies down here. And there's very specific weakness and strengths. Those goddamn blobs. Those goddamn blobs are like unkillable with melee weapons. Not literally unkillable, but it's a, it's a pain. I have specific memories of that because I remember in multiple playthroughs, I think I had, for some reason, I decided to farm uh, green titanite. And I don't really remember why. Probably for a divine weapon or something. And, uh,. Farming green titanites is gargantuan pain in the ass. Because you have to fight the-, the, one, of the one of the ways of doing it is to fight those blobs, and they- They take forever to kill, and their drop rate sucks. You hiding anything in here? Hmm? Hmm? This is customs. I am the TSA, and I am carefully handling your baggage. Carefully handling baggage. Carefully, carefully, carefully. <laughs> Hey there. Nope. Stop that. The lighting is slightly weird on the ghosts. Yeah, that guy. Their lighting looks weird. They got keep thinking they're a dark phantom. They look a little too much like the uh the phantoms that were black in Dark Souls 2, which might be what Gravelord enemies look like in this game, but I've never seen them. Uh they look a little too solid and black as opposed to a vague transparent white shape. And so I keep thinking that they're an actual enemy that's going to attack me. Then like, uh, then the- then you have the- then my, after my initial recoil I have the follow-up questions like, why is that enemy here? That's not supposed to be here, and so on, but my reflex is always like, oh shit, I'm gonna die. Hey guys. Somebody- somebody trying to attack me? Not very nice. You shouldn't do that to people. I'm gonna not handle your baggage very carefully if you do that. Hello. Oh. Rude. It's like a perfect height to just slit the throat, basically. Uh, ow. Oh. Man. This game got a lot more familiar once I reacquired my, my light roll. By basically not wearing armor. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this feels way more right. The medium roll fucks with your head if you're not used to Dark Souls 1. If you're not used to specifically Dark Souls 1, the medium roll is way, way, way too slow to for the purposes of what you're going for if you're used to light rolls. But it does not give you the signifiers that the fat roll does that you're doing that you're in fat roll mode. Because fat roll, you slam into the ground, and you hesitate, and you go slow, and your controller vibrates, and there's a sound effect, and like, it's just a fucking shit show, and you're like, oh, right, I'm fat rolling. The immediate negative feedback says, fix this. But when you medium roll, it's like, oh, okay, this game's just kind of slow, it's fine. And then you're like, oh no, everything's going wrong. It's not an invalid approach, but for the... For the way that I've learned how to play these games over the years, it's real fucking weird to move that slow. Oh, hi. Uh, nice of you to visit. Ma'am? Ma'am? Freddy? I mean, J I mean, Jason? Miss Jason? Jason, Jason, Jason... Mrs. Jason? I guess would be the more accurate. Or Miss, I don't know. Does Jason have a sister? Not anymore. She has been sacked. 
Hey, doggo. Friend. Friend. Oh, alive. Shit. Oh, shit. You're way more alive than I expected. Which is a weird thing to say to a zombie dog. Can I, can I bring it back? What I was seeing a second ago? I wanted to highlight that. Oh, uh, maybe not. I had such a blue aura on my weapon. I was about to call it out, but then combat happened. Just seemed noteworthy and kind of cool. Oh. Why, hello, shortcut. <gasps> Large ember. I believe that's what I need to upgrade my weapon again, past plus five. I was wondering about that. Because the weapons go up to plus 15 in this game, which I believe is the highest they go in any game in the franchise. It's really unusual. So it's kind of a weird number of upgrades, but to go past, past plus five, you need uh, some kind of augment. One way or another. Oh wow, that was a hell of a jump. Once you reach plus plus five, you can you can switch it into an elemental weapon, or if you get the large ember, I think that's what allows you to upgrade to plus ten and so on. And that's part of the weapon progression. You need you need that shit. It's important. Hey, doggy. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. Die. There you go. I fixed him, and not in the vet kind of way. What am I talking about? Hey there. There you go. Have a nap. He just sinks into the shore. Really? You're gonna tell me I can just casually walk up this without even jumping or rolling, but I couldn't climb that debris in the first level to get the rusty iron ring that makes the Hydra fight not insufferable? I call nay. Yes, you. Here, I'm over here. Please, you must help me. I'm coming. Boy, is it specifically important that you definitely roll. Otherwise, you're hitting him with a weapon. I wonder if he's supposed to be a tutorial of sorts that introduces you to the idea that you can roll through stuff. Or if they just assume that you would have found that up, out naturally by now and they're testing your problem-solving skills. Because, uh, you probably have rolled through debris at some point in this game. Seems almost unavoidable. Hello, I also have a flaming hand. How do you do? What? That was a terrible joke. It's like one in five sexually active adults has flaming hand infection. Thank you. I would have been a supper without you. Been eaten alive. I started to think. Thank you. Thank you dearly. I am Laurentius. Or the great swamp. I will not forget my debt to you. Oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. Oh, hello there. Huh. Abrupt end to dialogue. I would never forget my debt to you. Oh, hello there. <laughs> and that's just all the dialogue. I don't think he doesn't even mention going back to Firelink Shrine or even leaving somewhere safe. And he just needs to rest a, a moment, which is what they always say. Hi. How you doing? You doing good? Doing good? It's a really long wind up you got there. Nope. No, thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know your timing. Why am I doing this to myself? It's a bad idea. Ow. <laughs> I did it. Oh. That was a weird moment. Now, I think I think the way that that happened where I didn't take any damage means that it was a successful parry, but the attack wasn't parryable. So instead I just took no damage. 
and it kind of phased through me. What is your other weapon, by the way? What are you holding? Oh, now I can't see it. Oh, and he dropped it. Oh, well. Into the water with you. Be time to be deleted. Yeah, I'm bad at parrying. So that, that, those black knights were uniquely easy to parry. And that stood out. Destroy. Destroy. You never know when you'll find a pyromancer. <laughs> It begins. No, I thought I dodged it. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Rude. Stop it. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Hello. That was, that was a three cheers for head, headphones moment right there. I only noticed that enemy was coming because I heard a footstep right there. I'm like, oh shit, turn around. I'm going to double check that shortcut. I, I don't remember what it is. But there was a drop off point here. It might just drop to where I just was with nothing in there. Or it might have like a chest or something. Ooh. Oh, fuck. I? Have I l Have I ever been here before? What the fuck? I don't recognize this at all. I don't know if I've ever been here. Whoa. There's always another secret. Hello. Burn for me. Well, I guess we'll just skip this fight. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, spooky rat. How do I even get out of here? Do I have? I think I have to. I think I think I just have to jump down. With no way to get back up. I don't remember this place. It might just be my memory. I might have just forgotten about it because it's not the most noteworthy thing ever and this is my least played game in the five of the- not- well, maybe Bloodborne actually. But boy do I not remember that! Huh. Hey guys. Don't mind me just taking bizarre shortcuts. Holy crap. This skips so much. I also didn't get the bonfire, which is kind of a drag. Not my favorite zone to play through, though, so skipping like this is neat. It's definitely tempting just to commit to it. But if, yeah, if I die, I don't really have like a bonfire to go back to. Gross. It's everyone's favorite enemy. Eyeball McCree. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Wow, I one-shot them. Oh, right. Don't I have to deal with, uh... Oh, hey, rat. That's a big one. Oh, that got me. I like that the rats try to punch you with their little T-Rex arms. <laughs> Look at them try to punch you with their shitty little T-Rex. I think they're trying to bite you technically with a weird side swiping animation, but it looks like they're just trying to punch you with their shitty little T-Rex arms, and it's really funny. That's creepy. Oh yeah, there's the blue glow. That was a person. Was.
Hi there. One less. <laughs> Excuse me. I would like a zero fog encounter if I can. Oh, I just kicked him. So soulless. Where are you? What's his name? Picard? No. What am I thinking Picard? Stewart? <laughs> why am I thinking why am I thinking of Patrick Stewart? <laughs> what is there's an, there's an invader around here with a name that should stand out to me and it's not. I'm not remembering his name. Hey there. Die. God damn, we are just efficiently wiping these dudes out. Did I get a third one that I didn't even know was there? I fucking did. <laughs> I got a third one on accident. This is tripping me out because I just didn't I didn't know that shortcut existed. But I'm also kind of iffy about skipping the parts I've skipped because there might be stuff I want. So maybe I should go back anyway. Oh boy. Nope, nope, nope. That's the meter I don't want to see. Ever. Excuse me. There you go. Yes. The Eye of Death. Don't remember what that does off the top of my head. Uh, Lure phantoms from other worlds. Only... Only Covenanter can use the item, while Hollows cannot. Only Covenanter? The fuck does that mean? <laughs> I think it must be part of a Covenant, but Covenanter is a bizarre word to hear. I'm not entirely convinced it's even real. The Ring of the Evil Eye. Is that the aggro one or the one that I think this one no that's red eye is aggro. This one makes me heal when I kill people. Yes. That's a good one. That's a good one. That justifies taking this whole route. That and the fact that it's a bunch of enemies that don't actually damage you, so you, all you have to do is swing your weapon at them real quick. And just don't let a meter fill up, and you're pretty much just gonna get through the entire scenario unharmed. That's a dick move, by the way. If you take those stairs, you just walk directly into this hole and just get covered in those guys. Hi, dick. Oh boy, I thought I missed. Hey, humanity. Where does that go? Hmm. Spacing-wise, I think that just drops into one of the various hallways I've already cleared. I'm honestly not even entirely sure what these things are. They look like sewer-like tumors, and I'm not really cool with that. Just generally. Blah. Back where we started. This is always the type of zone that makes me a bit uncomfortable. Just because it's full of so many point of no returns. Ah, uh, Kirk. That's why I was thinking of Patrick Stewart. He, he's the wrong he's the wrong captain, but it is a Star Trek y name. Ooh. Hey spiky boy. How you feeling? Ow rude. Oh, okay, there's the damage. For a second there, I thought, like, no damage was gonna happen. Goodbye, Kirk, you prick. There we go. Rip some humanity out of his shitty body. Look at me parrying, like, some kind of person who knows stuff like Dark Souls. Don't tell my parents. Uh oh. Damn. Oh, wh why'd you roll forward? I didn't press that direction. You liar. <laughs> oh, you're luring me into something. I'm not fucking stupid. <laughs> Never trust any situation where an enemy runs away. It's always a trap. 
It's also a tra it's also a trap whenever you see a crystal lizard do it. But at least there, the at least in those situations, there's a crystal lizard on the line. I mean, there's a crystal reward on the line. So that's where I would have landed if I could have done that jump. I think you can do that jump, but I'm not really sure. I feel like I always think it's possible and then I can't do it. But I, there's probably someone who's done it before. Because we just flew down that and landed. And it would, would have been able to land here. But instead you just see that little hint of hope of there being somewhere worth going. And then you fall to the shitty place. Goodbye. Hi there. Oh boy. Did not even see that there was one up there. A little hard to spot. I'm like, where'd the coward rat go? Come here. <laughs> there you are. Trying to lure me to my doom. Ain't having none of that. I don't know if I have the key to this. Nope. I think you have, I think it's I think you have to beat the boss. Destroy. It's actually really satisfying to roll into a, a pile of shit and see all of it fall over and explode just because I've been playing Omen Sight, where if there's a pile of barrels, you're gonna have to swing that sword like five times to hit all five barrels. It's a little weird actually. Really, that didn't make that didn't make contact. Yeah, not having fire means you take a lot longer to kill. Hey, buddy. You look funny, don't you? Mr. Armored Helm that has glasses on it? While well, simultaneously you seem to be blind? His eyes look like they're actually blocked while simultaneously having glasses. Aye, shall I? And a good day to you. I'm Donald of Zena. I'm just a peddler of sort. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. Hmm. I'm. Aye, some why? Gesundheit. <laughs> Crystal weapons. <laughs> Weapons where if they break, they break forever, and you can't repair them, I believe. You can buy his armor, which looks funny, but is super expensive. Or reasonably expensive. More expensive than I can afford right now. Not that heavy, so I could run around like that if I want to. Otherwise, pine resin. Well, that is a shame, but no matter. No, not to worry. Come back again. I'm always available. Not every trade was meant to be. There'll be more in store for us, someday, sometime. I'm always available. I'm a little worried because I don't have a bonfire. Is there a bonfire in here somewhere? I'm just thinking like if I kill the boss and come back to go that way, I'll still be stuck in a situation where just like I have a ton of souls and don't know if I can reasonably get back to where I died. Is there a bonfire in this room? There is like a secret in this room, but I think that secret is just to summon. Oh no. Yep, th there he is. I'm like, where is he? Shit. Can I go up there? No. Oh no. Oh no. Gig. <laughs> uh, can't fit through those. Whoop. Excuse me. Is there an alternate path I'm forgetting? Or have I lost access to this because of the path I took? I think I have. Oh no, this way. Dragon girl! Look at you. Oh no, this could be the way to go. I kind of don't remember this path either.
Ooh. Where am I right now? Oh, no. I, the, oh, yeah. There's this path with the door. It's, uh, it's unsavory to fight that boss fight. Hi. Hey, rats. There's a lot of you guys. If you could just all cease to exist real quick, that'd be nice. Thank you. You're fighting that boss fight while dealing with a guy shooting magic at you the entire time is not welcome. I'd rather not. You're the trap one, right? Yep. I remember you. Where are you going? Where are you going? You going somewhere? The rats mostly run away, which just kind of makes me feel bad. There's no holes here, right? There's the fog gate. There it is. Hey, you. Uh oh. Hey, everybody. <laughs> ow, ow. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I melted. Fuck. <laughs> Oh. Let's take a break. I'll be back in a bit. That's a take a break moment. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, yeah. I was at the boss chamber, but I just doubled back to take out that guy and then got eviscerated. No way. No. No. No, I didn't make that miss. No. N no. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That was a. Ah, I didn't even catch it happening. I could have controlled Zed, probably. Maybe I still can. I, uh. So I have, like, a folders open one for where I keep my backup files, and one where I keep where the actual uh, saves are. And I just realized I, I, I copied. Instead of copying the save from Dark Souls into, like, the backup folder, I copied my backup save into the Dark Souls folder, meaning I reverted back to two hours ago. You idiot. No. Alright. Uh, we'll see if I can retrieve that and undo that. God, I don't want to fight the stray demon again. Oh no. How did I do this?